It was in 1857, and Milton was a mere two years old. His family knew the harsh thing of poverty all too well. His mother unemployed, his father chasing elusive dreams of wealth through oil. But fortune, like the oil they sought, slipped through their fingers, leaving them poorer still. By the age of seven, Milton found himself assisting his mother by selling chickens and eggs on the farm, while his father attempted to cultivate crops for sustenance. Despite their efforts, the strain of poverty took its toll, and Milton witnessed his parents' relationship deteriorating. Eventually, his father abandoned the family in pursuit of yet another scheme. It is winter 1867, and times will get even worse for the family. The widow will be too severe at a point Milton and his sister will fall ill, but it is she who will get worse condition. It was found that Milton's sister was suffering from scarlet fever, a disease that claimed a lot of children's lives at the time, and she was no exception. After three days, she would pass away at the age of four. That is when Milton had enough and made a hard choice to leave school and provide for their family financially. At the age of 14, he landed a job at the printing factory, but Milton ended up not liking the job because for four months, he either would get screened by his boss or he would work overtime. What's even worse is that his father proposed to him the idea of landing a job in a printing factory. So he got fed up and decided to drop his hat on one of the printing machines, causing a malfunction and also leading to his dismissal. Surprisingly enough, his mom supported him all the way because she was done with his father's scheme. Stepping into the world of candy, Milton found solace and purpose. From behind a cash register to mastering the art of candy making, he honed his skills and embraced the street symphony of possibility. Then in a moment, he would define his legacy. At the age of 38, Milton took the plunge with a wealth of knowledge and courage in his heart. He launched his own venture, the Lancaster Caramel Company. Caramel flowed from his hands, capturing the palate of Europe and America alike. But it was a trip to the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago that ignited a new vision, one of chocolate. So he decided to sell the Lancaster Caramel Company for $1 million, in which he used to build his other company, in which we know as the famous Hershey Company today. Hey guys, if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.